A bonny terrier that, sir. A fell chilled at the vermin I warned him. That is, if he's been well entered, trained. <laughs> but it all lies in that. Really, sir, his education has been somewhat neglected and his chief profession is being a pleasant companion. <laughs> Aye, sir, that's a pity, begging your pardon. It's a great pity, that. Beast or buddy, education, should I be minded? I have six terriers at home. There's old pepper and old mustard. And young pepper and young mustard. And little pepper <laughs> and little mustard. I had them all regularly entered. Trained. First, first we rottens rats. Then we stuts and weasels. Stuts and weasels. <laughs> then, then with the toads, foxes and brocks. And now they fear nothing that ever came with a hairy skin. <laughs> I have no doubt, sir, they are thoroughbred. But to have so many dogs, you seem to have a very limited variety of names for them. <laughs> oh! That's a fancy on my ain to mark the breed, sir. The Duke himself has sent as far as Cherley's Hope, that's my home, to get Yenna Dandy Dinmont's Pepper and Mustard Terriers. Lord, man, he sent Tom Hudson, the keeper, and second a day as we had with the Fumerts, Pine Martins, <laughs> and the Todds, and sicken a blithe gay doon as we had again at Eden. Faith, that was a night. I suppose game is very plenty with you. Plenty, man. I believe there's mere hares than sheep on my farm. <laughs> and for the moor fowl or the grey fowl, they lie as thick as dews in the ducat. <laughs> Doves in the dovecot. <laughs> Did you ever shoot a black cock man? Really, I never had the pleasure to see one except in the museum at Keswick. There now, I could guess that be your Southland tongue. It's very odd of these English folk that come here. How few of them has seen a black cock? Up <laughs> I'll tell you what, you seem to be an honest lad, and if you'll call on me on Dandy Dinmont at Cherley's Hope, ye shall see a black cock, and shoot a black cock, aye, and eat a black cock too, man. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I gave Dandy Dinmont to the world, but Liddesdale gave me Dandy Dinmont. And Dandy Dinmont lives on to this day in this book and also through these lovely wee dogs. And long may that continue. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.